Now to breaking news we've been following all morning from East Point. Right now, crews are on the scene of a body discovered overnight in a burned car. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is on the scene as well. She joins us live with the very latest. Kim, is there any indication as to how this all happened? Police are on the scene collecting evidence, trying to piece together exactly what happened. Neighbors, meantime, they're waking up to a shocking scene here on Crescentwood. This is a well-kept neighborhood. There aren't a lot of vacant homes. It is not the type of place where you would even imagine finding this kind of scene. As you can see, the car was parked at the end of a driveway in clear sight of the road. It was not hidden at all. The fire was so intense, it melted parts of a car parked on the street yards away. Police Police tell me the body was so badly burned they can't tell whether it was a man or a woman. What we do know is that the body was in the driver's side front seat. Neighbors are stunned. One told me he heard what must have been an explosion and possibly gunshots, but he didn't realize it. It was just before 4 a.m. and he thought it was thunder. About a half hour later, he went to take his dogs outside and he realized that there was a car on fire. And I just kind of ignored it. And then I came downstairs, like I said, to let my dog out. And I saw the, uh, the car was completely engulfed in flames. I mean, if there's anybody in there, there's no way they're getting out. Now, sources tell me police are investigating whether there was some kind of chase before this car was somehow set on fire. There are numerous skid marks on this road. They were measuring them. The medical examiner is on the scene examining the body, trying to collect evidence. We'll bring you more information as we learn it. For now, I'm live in East Point. Kim Russell, 7 Action News.